Okay guys, we're here today with Homo Bahau, huge honor. And guys, uh, Homo is the founder of the uh, Everyday Pohada movement. And I think it's the biggest movement that anyone has ever created in Jiu-Jitsu. And it's going outside of Jiu-Jitsu as well. Like uh, now, nowadays I see everybody putting hashtag Everyday Pohada, even people that don't do Jiu-Jitsu. So today I, I wanna, I, I already know a lot about that, but I wanna ask him some questions like, what exactly is the everyday porrada? And to make sure if you don't know yet, I think that's gonna be a great, great opportunity to understand more about the everyday porrada. So, homie. What's up, Bernardo? My pleasure to be here. Always great talk, you know. Bernardo always got the good damage, always like, you know, like think big, you know, think ahead, and then not better guy to talk about everyday porrada, which is a guy that have the same mindset, the same vision, the same idea, which is actually means everyday porrada. So everything for how it's it's getting deep and deep what it's become, you know, like uh, it, it obviously is a uh, one thing, you know, like that I was talking with Draculina, he said, man, that's your enemy. Everybody's wearing your shirt. Guys from another school, guys, I said, Draculina, that has nothing to do with the school. Everybody has a little bit of everyday pohad inside them, you know, like, uh, you know, like if you fight for like anything in your life, then you put in the effort, you know, like, and you put in like work, you like everyday pohad. I'm the type of person, I, I admire people by being everyday pohada, by being hard work, by being like, a, you know, like a not give up on the dreams, not give up on the goals, you know, like, a, you tell me like somebody like, oh, this guy's a champ of this, that guy's a champ of that, okay, good, but what else you doing? You know what I mean? Right. Like, I was talking with you, you know, like you have accomplished all your goals in the jiu-jitsu, now you have another goals all outside the jiu-jitsu, and then you use jiu-jitsu as a tool to accomplish your goals, yep. and then you go, you work hard, <laughs> you work hard, you're looking for improve, you're looking for get better, using the same tool that you do in jiu-jitsu. That's why you feeling like I'm everyday pohada. Of course I'm everyday pohada. Everyday pohada made me a better person. Everyday pohada is like, oh man, I don't want to. I'm gonna record this DVD. Like man, I, I thought so many seminars. I'm tired. No man, you everyday pohada. You have to be done. Oh, I don't want to. Man, go to. I don't want to go to teach a set. You have to do it. You have your everyday pohada. Yeah. You have to take the kids to Disneyland, but you have to. Man, every, it making me a better person, you know. So that people feel that. I have tons of people off jiu-jitsu the same way. Today I have. I have actors in Brazil send me a message, how can I get an everyday pohada shirt? Because I'm everyday pohada, I wake up, I have to do this, I have to do that. They tell me the private story to let me know, to tell me why they're everyday pohada. So the success of behind everyday pohada, because the mean is good, is a good mean yeah. behind it. You know? Yeah, but I think two, two things that in my opinion is very, very cool is that one, you didn't plan that. So you didn't plan that to try to make money or anything like that, that just happened. And two, I think it would never work if it was not you, you know, like, because I, I remember when I was brown, brown belt, for example, uh, I, I always tried to ask questions about the champions, about how, how would they train Jiu-Jitsu, right? And then I remember I asked you one day, and that's exactly what I did in my career. I tell that in every video, like, in my entire career, what I did to improve in Jiu-Jitsu was always, like, roll with the toughest guys on the mat, and then after the training, pick, like, another four or five while they were resting and roll with them. I would tap 100 times, but it was you who told me that. I remember I was brown, but I asked him, how do you train? He was like, I roll for everybody, and then after the training, I do four more rows. And then I tap, but I don't care. And uh, I copied from you, and it worked really well for me. It was the best form. So I think that's the everyday I, pohada, I, right? I, I think so, you know. I think, man, like uh, people were expecting like a magic form, a magic pill, you know, like a, a secret of like a, this and that. I, I'm true believer in the hard work, you know, I had to work in uh, and then, uh, you know, it's, nothing's going to happen overnight, you know, how many times that we lost, you know, how many times that you did that, you know, how many times that you put all this work, <coughs> training the toughest guys, and then you see guys that didn't do the same as you did, and then they win, I see that many times, I yeah. see guys that put like a half the work that I did, and then they win some, you know what I mean, but, you know, like, they don't reach the best, they don't reach the they best, can. they can't reach the best maybe in Jiu-Jitsu, I got it. What about after Jiu Jitsu? I got it. This mindset, this mindset that I learned like one time, you know, like I was getting tired and then I asked my professor Chich, you know, he's like, man, you're getting tired because you get tired and then you sit and then you rest. You can't do that. You have to go, on. you get tired, go one more. Then I start to go one more, <coughs> then two more, three more, four more, five more. Then I realized that for me, for myself, how I was going to build my champion's mentality, my champion's career is to train while that I don't want to train. I like when you, Today you don't want to train, I have to punish myself and so train. So it was Chi Chi who kind of gave you this? Chi Chi was the first one that told me like, man, when you get tired, you have to go one more. Uh, one more. He told me to go one more. 
Okay. It's like this is like blue belt time, you know, like you have to go one more at least, you know. But I was gonna I was dying, you know, like okay. I have nothing left. Then I start to go one more. But my mindset was like, if I go one more, I'm gonna get mobbed, I'm gonna get smashed. Yes, but you're gonna get used to. Yeah, you're gonna okay. get used to get smashed. And then the day of the tournament feel like crazy exactly. pressure. Exactly. And yeah. then imagine that when you build up like the you know, like the tournament part, you know. Man, this this mindset, you know, like people told me that I got injured because of that, people tell me that I was wrong. People tell me that I'm wrong when I tell people to do that. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not building only champions, like, to win medals. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I'm building champions mindset. When you go work now, Ben, we just spoke about that. You go work, you tell me 4 a.m. Yeah, every day, yeah. Monday to Sunday. Tell me that you didn't transfer the same work that, yeah. that you have to Jiu-Jitsu to yeah. what you're doing now. Yeah, I try to find something that I love. I think it's important, right? It might be hard to do every day for having things that you... That you don't, yeah. so don't really love, but it's still possible, it's, right? It's, it's still possible, but one of the parts of Everyday Pohada is a good point that you, that you just touched. One of the good points of the Everyday Pohada mentality, you have, to, you have to choose a path or something that you love. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, like, I've been reading books, you know, like, listening to interviews, listening to people, they actually talk to thousands of people, and then they all, they all have the same talk, they have the same conversation, the same ideas. And then one of the most common thing it's like a find what you love. But it's a trick thing. What I feel is a lot of people they, they when they find what they love, they try to hide for something that they don't want to work hard. Like oh, yeah. you know, like for example, in Jiu Jitsu. Sometimes people tell me, "Hey, I want to be a champion Jiu Jitsu." Sometimes they come from a good family, you know, like and then they oh. tell me, "Like I want to be champion Jiu Jitsu." And then you know, like I see the work that they put in on it, and then eventually I start to feel that they don't want to do Jiu Jitsu. Fully committed. They like Jiu Jitsu, but not like the way, the way that we love to become the best. Yeah. And they put all the effort. And then what are they doing? They hide for something. They hide for something they don't want to do. It. They try to. Uh, it's okay to search. It's, o- it's okay to, sh- to search for something that is going to make you happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So another day I was talking to this guy, big entrepreneur in Brazil, you know, like uh, his name is Ziller, very smart guy, you know, like a very, you know, like a. And I was talking to him and then he was telling me, oh, my, 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 um, my 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 daughter, she was studying for like this. Like, I think it was medicine, and then you know he was she was doing good, and all of a sudden she told me that I want to do art. I don't want to do that no more. And then by just having like a little conversation with him, I already knew his reaction. What are you gonna do? Like today, I talked to my wife about future of my daughter, about knowing that I followed completely different path, and then I accomplished so much bigger things than everybody that was telling me that I was wrong. Well, it was, yeah, yeah, but the difference is, is I was everyday pohada. Because I love what I did. I got it. I did it. I was not doing for nobody. I was not doing for no money. I was doing for passion. And then they become everything that I do. They become part of me. I got it. So uh, that's, that's my awesome. belief that they connect yeah. everyday for Harder Metal. And uh, guys, one question that, uh, for example, when this started, one student came to me and was like, man, what means everyday for what, what What means like the translation of everyday for So it's two words, one American word, like everyday, and one Brazilian word, Pohada. Pohada means like, Exchanging punches. Yeah, like brawling. Call it brawling. I think in the yeah. United States they call brawling, you know? When you kind of like go in the bar and then you brawl and you chant, bow, bow, bow. Yeah, so for example, when, when you watch a UFC match and they start standing and then you exchange a ton of punches, you say like, oh, there's a lot of pohada on that match. So many times, like, uh, especially in Brazil, like when you ask like, oh, how was your role with that guy? It was like, oh, pohada here. It was a lot of pohada. So this is like everyday pohada. Everyday like going really, really hard. So this is... Like what means like did you explain right? Yeah. Yeah, no, you did. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so guys, very very cool. And uh, it's awesome to see like that every, the entire Jiu Jitsu community like embrace that. And it's even cooler to see that this is going out of Jiu Jitsu, right? You see like I follow Homo's Instagram for example, and I see like all these entrepreneurs in Brazil like hashtag everyday Pohada because they're bringing that to their work and this and that. And all type of people, right? Even like doctors, this and that, they work like crazy hours, this and that, and everyday pohada, everyday pohada, they're there like doing their best to cure people and this and that. So it's really, really cool. Also, in your way. Thank you, yes. Yeah. Because, and then the everyday pohada, you know, like uh, just to finalize, you know, like uh, people need to understand, you know, like uh, if people looking for like a uh, final, final line, you know, right? To finish line. A finish line like you're doing a race, the human race. Yeah, but there's no finish yeah, right? there's, there's no finish line. Together, yeah. You know, there's no I finish line. Yeah, you know, like if you, exactly you know, like if you're doing a race, yeah. you know, like a human race, and like you try to finish the line, it's, it's like a jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Why jiu-jitsu is so good and then they connect so much with everyday pohada? Because what's the finish line in jiu-jitsu? When are you going to reach on the red belt? Do you have to reach on the red belt? You, you, you can't stop. Even when you get a red belt, you have to, you yeah. have to be involved with jiu-jitsu. And then the mentality of Revy Depo had a trust is so good and like connect so good with the Jiu Jitsu, so by embrace so quickly because of that. 
You no, know, no. there's no finish line. No, I always mm -hmm. tell Michael, my business partner, BGD Fanatics, that what makes me most excited to build BGD Fanatics is that exactly, it's exactly the same feeling as Jiu-Jitsu, right? You can always improve, you can always do better, you can always like uh, make a better video, like show to more people. There's always a new thing to work on to improve. So that's exactly the same mentality. Same thing so. in Jiu-Jitsu, you know, if you stop, you stop to improve, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna get guys gonna get oh, better yeah. than you, you know. It's natural, you know. So I'm not talking about like the age, you know, like we get old, we get master. I'm talking about when you actually when you're prime, you know, like yeah. if you don't if you don't keep going, don't don't look to improve, you remain the same, people's gonna pass you. You know, like uh, I, I'm the, the person that, you know, like I, I have to have different goals, you know. I can't I can't be like a like a jujitsu doesn't satisfy me, you know, like oh, that's yeah. why the everyday people had the Oh, Every yeah. people had a fall. Like I think everything in life have happened for a re reason. Like you said, it was nothing planned. You yeah. know, like I knew it. No, I, I think if you had planned, it would not work that well. Because people were figuring out. Oh, like, right, he's trying to do this. Like, come on, exactly. he's trying to do this. And then even that. now, even now, nothing is planned. You know, like is that everything is so random and then uh, raw. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah Homo was telling us that he was, uh, that that everything is happening, right? And uh, his vision is never like uh, related to the money. It's always like a something bigger than that something like to reach more people to bring this mentality to more people so this is very cool you know like yeah the, the ultimate goal for everyday pohada the ultimate goal you know what i mean is to reach everyone and then motivate them like like for example uh, uh i when i create the everyday pohada instagram i create the fact that i couldn't catch up on my instagram no more like we can't catch up with the we don't even have a lot of followers on the on the on a, we have like 22,000 followers on the Everyday Pohada Instagram and then we I have eight people helping me with the Instagram to try to reply to everybody to be everybody like what they telling us like what they doing you guys life. reply every single one? we try but yeah, man, it's Everyday plus 99 message plus 99 message no, plus sorry. 99 message because people is so into and then man I have guys like for example my friend Kalokinha he just have a surgery on his knee and then he told me man Everyday you have no idea how much Everyday Pohada helps me right now He's like, I, I even have goosebumps right now that you think about that, man. The guys are with black belt, I already go through so much stuff. He's telling me that something so new is helping him. You know, like I met this guy in Brazil. Uh, even Professor Jason knows him. He was training in a real, real crowd back in the day. And then this guy messaged me, you know, like he, he has like a really bad problem, a healthy problem. I met the guy. I talked to him. I didn't know he had any problem. And then I said, and then after, he's like, I was the one to talk to on the internet. I'm like, what? You have this big health problem, and then you have this energy. He told me, man, thank you, Everyday Pohada, man. Thank right, you, Everyday awesome. Pohada. Everyday Pohada helped me tremendous. I'm, I have to stay. I have so many good people around me. Everyday Pohada mentality every single day. So I'm like, this is this is actually what makes me happy. No money in the world can buy that, you know. So right, right. that's that's my vision. You know, my vision it's. My vision is like at work, you know, little by little. My vision is not now in one year, in two years. My vision is in 20 years. Right. Be able to, you know, like go on the globe and then everybody know what's right. the mentality of everybody. Yeah, guys, uh, just to finish, like uh, I have a great friend, for example, that he, he, he used to own the Open Mag Radio, to the podcast, and uh, his name is Paul. And I made an interview with him on my YouTube channel, for example. He got cancer like five years ago and uh, then the cancer spread out, this and that, and he was cancer on all his body. And it's pretty much same mentality because he told him that what he does every day is he's and he's alive for like six six years already. And he's kind of curing the cancer and that. And told him that every day he wakes up with the mentality like it's one more lion to kill. So it's exactly the everyday Pohada mentality. Right? I bet like now you know you have seen. Well, sure, I want to think about. I want to send well. him a shirt, a mug, yeah. everything, you know, because. So, that's a, what that's the example. That's, exactly of, the that's an example of what the everyday Pohada means. Oh, yeah. you know? It's like it's no excuse. You know, I used to have this thing. You know, uh, this is actually come. You know, like it's it's like to keep talking and I keep remember. You know, like this is actually this everyday Pohada thing. It, 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 it starts to come out my mind. I used to have this coin. You know, yeah. like uh, that I actually post on my Instagram, and then this coin you would say all day every day, no excuse. I got it. And then they have like the my logo on the thing, you know. And then I only gave, I only gave I think like eight coins in like ten or fifteen years. And then it wasn't every day for hard, you know. For me, it was like I give the coin for like whoever like work the butt off, never gave excuse, and then you know like never gave up the dreams, you know. I know like you know like if some guys they probably the jujitsu community you know they have it's uh, Felipe Pena, yeah. he's, he's one they have, uh, Benny. 
Benny La Rouge, uh, Braulio, Braulio yeah. after he's like, oh, man, he win the ECC, he did like like a hundred seminars in a year, you know, like a travel all over the world trying to build business, you know, like, like, you know, it's a few other guys, like those guys that are more famous is that I, that I gave the coin, you know, and there's a lot of people that, that with me that I haven't gave yet. They, they've been tested. I got you know it. what I mean? Oh, they've been tested. Awesome. Sorry, you've been tested. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, like for example, and then, you know, like if you're thinking about now, Devin Day Pohala just to start, but this is like something yeah, that, 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 you, you that have is, that you is know, like back in my head a long time yeah, ago, you know? Yeah. And just now we actually have something. Uh, you know? Hey guys, I promised that this is just to finish. So, yeah, how it started was uh, you did a super fight? Or? Yeah, super fight in ACB. In <laughs> ACB, and after the match, they made an interview with him, and how was your match? And he was like, oh, I'm Everyday Pohala. <laughs> and then everybody started hashtagging, like, Everyday Pohala, Everyday Pohala, Everyday Pohala. And then he explained, oh, I'm Everyday Pohala, I train Pohala every day, and I go really hard every day. And uh, that's how it started. So, thanks so much for me, that was thank awesome. Thank you guys, thank you, man. Thank, thank you, you man. Appreciate awesome. it.